Hello and welcome to another financial analysis video. Today we're taking a look at Noble Corp. They are an energy company and whether or not their dividend is sustainable. So what I found about what I found out about Noble Corp is interesting in that their dividend yield right now is 11 and two thirds percent and it's actually been as high as 14 percent in just the past few weeks. So this is a very high dividend and the company really jacked it up. They jacked it up uh, from 15 or from 13 cents to 25 cents in uh, 2013 and then in 2014 at the beginning of 14 they jacked it up to 38 cents. It is now sitting uh, slightly higher than that. I believe it's 38 cents and change actually but uh, the dividend has been at that level for six consecutive quarters. So, first thing I want to look at is free cash flow. And this is one of the methods that I use. And I use it on a trailing 12-month basis because we know how seasonal behavior changes. And believe it or not, Noble Corp has had negative free cash flow on a trailing 12 month basis for the past three years except for the current quarter and that is because the company is cut back on capital expenditures by more than they've lost in operating cash flow so all of a sudden Noble Corporation through defensive measures I mean they went from 4.7 billion to 3.2 billion in trailing 12 month revenue because of those defensive measures uh, they now have a positive free cash flow of $424 million over a trailing 12-month period. What's interesting about that is if we take a look at the dividend in the last four quarters, we add it up and it's actually less than that. It's actually uh, $372 million. So the company, from a cash flow standpoint, actually can afford to pay out a dividend. Now... It gets a little more fascinating because people will say to me, well, Jeremy, they had a uh, dividend that they've been paying out during these years of negative cash flow. How were they able to do that? Well, they did it through earnings, looking at the payout ratio. Over the last four quarters, they average a 64% payout ratio, and that's due to low oil prices. If you go to the previous three quarters, and the reason I won't go back to the fourth is because it was at this 38 cent level. With normal oil prices, their payout ratio was just 40% on average. So they were able, very able prior to that to pay out the dividend. Now they're able to do it based on both payout ratio and on uh the free cash flow basis but I want to take a look at one more thing and this is this is just fascinating to me this is another example of an energy company that the market isn't sure it's gonna make it they are trading at 43 percent of book value this means that for every dollar of book value Noble Corp has the company is trading at just 43 cents. So you can buy a dollar of equity for Noble Corp for 43 cents. That is an incredible, incredible figure. But that tails into my one calculation that I like to do. Dividend yield times price to book equals the required return on equity to pay for the dividend. And at 0.43, that means we only need a 5% return on equity because of how small the book value is. And we have a 7.9% return on equity. So the company is still returning enough in order to pay its shareholders not just on a return on equity basis but a free cash flow basis and on a payout ratio basis one little wrinkle I want to note here because of the risk of the energy sector this is very important one you have a declining return on equity not only that but 
they this company could go down the road of Chesapeake Energy and they could decide in order to preserve preserve cash flow they're going to eliminate the dividend it's a very defensive measure it typically really shores up the balance sheet uh, they're free to do it if they want to and they possibly could so that's something the shareholder should keep in mind I hope you enjoyed this video and happy investing